hang on everything that you say You know I can see all the things that imply you secretly are in love Hey guys, so finally I'm back. I know it's been a little while since I've made a video and I definitely want to start making them more regularly because I love doing this and I think it's so much fun. So if you have any requests, leave them down below because I'm going to start filming probably once a week and upload once a week. That's probably the most I could do right now because of work and school. But yeah, today I filmed a look to enhance brown slash hazel and green eyes. I have light brown eyes. If you look at them in certain lights, um, it does. you can kind of see a little bit of hazel in there. But I love doing this look. I do this look all the time. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see me do looks like this all the time because I love this gold and purple look. It really makes my eyes pop and I just feel really like, I don't know, I just feel like sexy in this <laughs> look. And it's so easy to do and that's why I want to share it. Um, my channel is really about learning different techniques and stuff like that. I'm no expert in makeup, but I am a makeup artist and I do freelance and I also work at a makeup studio. So I do know a lot about makeup and I want to share my tips and tricks with you guys because makeup, um, I learned makeup through YouTube and blogs and social media um, for years and years and years. Well before YouTube was as popular as it is now, I started watching YouTube videos on makeup. And that's how I learned, and that's kind of what I want my channel to be. I want my channel to be a place where people can come and learn about makeup if they're aspiring makeup artists, or maybe if they're just interested um, in doing makeup on themselves. I want it to be a place where people can learn, and I don't want to do just like get ready with me videos or like tags and stuff like that. Like I really want it to be educational. So I hope you enjoy. Um, hopefully you give this look a try. Um, by the way, this isn't just for brown eyes or hazel eyes. If you have blue eyes or whatever, I'm sure it looked gorgeous on you if you wanted to do this look. This is just the colors that um, help enhance brown eyes. Purple in particular really helps enhance brown and hazel eyes, which is why I have a lot of purple going on. <laughs> um, so yeah, enough rambling. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any requests, leave them down below. And yeah, have a great day and let's get on to the makeup. Bye. Hey guys, so I already have my eye primed and a little bit of shadow in my crease. Um, but I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hills Favorite Palette, which actually is no longer available. It was limited edition, but I do believe you can get all these shadows individually on the Morphe um, brushes. Dot com. I'm going to be taking a light brown from the palette and dusting that into my crease. Then I'm going to be taking an even deeper um, warm brown shade from the same palette and layering that on top of the first one. Then I'm going to be taking an even deeper warm brown and focusing that on the outer corner. Um, this is going to create a little bit of depth for the eye look and all these shades just kind of create the base for my look and kind of set the tone for the rest of the makeup. Um, and they're also going to make blending that much easier. I'm then going to be taking two more shades from the palette. I'm going to use a dense white goat haired brush and I'm going to be taking like a chocolate brown mixed with a deep plum shade and I'm going to pack this into the outer corner of my eye. This is also creating more depth um, and going to make it more smoky and dramatic and I'm all about dramatic makeup so um, I definitely needed to do this step. I'm then going to be taking my favorite gold shade ever from Urban Decay. It's called Half Baked. It's been in so many of their palettes. And I'm going to press and slide the eyeshadow on my lid. The reason why I press and slide over a tap the shadow is because this sliding motion really presses the shadow into your skin and makes all the shimmers just pop that much more and you will get the most color payoff um, by doing that um, with your eyeshadow. And I'm just blending this onto the lid and I'm not 
being too precise with it because I'm going to be layering another shade on top of this and it is the most beautiful shade by ColourPop Cosmetics. It's called Birthday Girl and it is just so beautiful. It's basically just like gold shimmer and I'm using my finger because I find that's the best way to apply it and I'm going to be patting that on top of my lid. Again, this is just adding a little bit of a dramatic flair to the look. It is optional but I really love the way it came out. I'm then taking my NYX liquid liner in extreme purple. You can skip liner altogether or you can use black eye, black eyeliner. I'm just doing a very thin line um, to hide and disguise my lash bands because I will be putting lashes on. I really love the shade of this purple. Again, it really just made my eyes pop and just made the look um, a little bit more unique because you don't always I mean, I don't always wear purple eyeliner, so it was different, but I really love the way it came out. I'm then going to be taking a gel um, crayon liner by L'Oreal, and it is a gorgeous royal, like, purple shade, and it's so creamy and pigmented. I do believe this was limited edition, but they have another eyeliner by L'Oreal very similar to this one. And then I'm going to be taking the two colors that I use in the outer corner of my eye and setting the eyeliner with them. Um, this is going to be like the base for the rest of the purple shades I'm going to be putting on top of them. I'm going to be layering Urban and Jilted from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And first I'm putting Urban down really close to the lashes and then I'm taking Jilted and kind of blending Urban out. Um, I love these shades and I really love layering purples on top of each other. You want to use purples with shimmer because that's what's really going to make your eyes pop rather than just like a matte purple. Um, but then I am taking it into the outer corner just to tie everything together and make sure it's all kind of blended and then I'm going to be taking one of Max famous shades which is stars and rockets it's like an iridescent lilac purple shade um, it's just really unique and I'm going to be using that shade to blend everything out now I'm taking this ColourPop eyeshadow in dare and this doesn't have a ton of purple color to it but it has these beautiful like purple and blue sparkles and they're very fine, and I'm just patting them on top of the other purples that I put, and it just really brought the lower lash line to life and just added a really cool um, effect. Now I'm just adding a little bit of gold to open up my eyes, and that's it for the eyeshadow. This eye, as far as the... Um, eyeshadow so I have to put on my lashes and this is what's really going to bring the look together and I just wanted to talk real quickly these are the Ardell Color Impact lashes obviously you don't have to use these lashes but they're really going to help enhance your eyes because they have a purple like sheen to them I don't know if you can see that probably not and I may be blinding you I'm sorry um, but this is really going to add that extra like punch to this eye look that's really going to bring your brown slash hazel eyes out. So I'm going to pop these on and I'll be right back. Last part is obviously lips. Um, now this look is a bit loud. Um, so if you want to put a bold look with this, you definitely can. Um, makeup is for fun. So if you want to go for a bright lip, you definitely can. But I'm going to keep it neutral today and kind of do like a pinkish nude lip so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply NYX lip liner in the color espresso and I'm just going to lightly line my lips okay so I'm just going to take the LA girl lip paint this is in the color allude it's just like a Kind of like a peachy nude color. I'm just gonna put that on with my lips. Um, I don't want like to get the true true color of this. I just want like a tint, and then I'm gonna take my 
Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Buttercream. It's just like a baby pink. And yeah, that's that's it for the lips. So that's it for the look. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope it's coming up on camera. It's the purples that I use are so pretty. Um, in makeup, it's really about layering colors um, to really kind of get some cool effects. Um, if I were to just use a flat purple, it wouldn't make my eyes pop as much as like this does and the Stars and Rockets and the Urban Decay shade that I use. Um, those shimmery shades really help make your eyes pop and them all mixed together makes a really cool kind of iridescent purple that is very different from any other purples that I've seen. So I like to mix my colors together to get some cool um, different colors that you don't always see um, with makeup. This is definitely going to be my go-to look for the summer. Um, it's actually really easy. It's literally just piling on a bunch of colors, you know, um, and you can switch up the lid color. You can make this into a smoky eye. You can do whatever with this, whatever makes you happy. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give this look a try and have a good, nice day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.